Good morning and welcome. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. I am Marjorie Sandler, the 17th proud principal of John B. Gorey Elementary School. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome Deputy Superintendent Kathy Valdez, Honorable Mayor Bob Buckhorn, Honorable School Board Member Sally Harris, Mary Beth Brooks, Area Leadership Director for Area One Schools, Mike Suarez, City Council Member, Charlie Miranda, City Council Member, Harry Cohn, City Council Member. Are there any other elected officials at this time that we have not recognized? Please stand. I think we, think we got you all. I also wish to welcome our students, parents, alumni, and all guests who are here to celebrate the 125th year of existence for this incredible school. Okay. At this time, I would like to introduce Deputy Superintendent Kathy Valdez. Mrs. Valdez has a long, distinguished career in Hillsborough County Public Schools. She has been a highly decorated elementary principal, area leadership director, as well as chief facilities officer. In her capacity as Chief Facilities Officer, she oversaw the building and renovation program of many of our Hillsborough County schools. Please join me in welcoming Deputy Superintendent Kathy Valdez. Thank you, Margie. Such an honor to be here today. I'm standing in for Superintendent Elia, who really wanted to be here. You know, this place where we stand, this uh, gymnasium, was built with the community uh, partnership with the school district with community raised funds during the time that Mrs. Elia served as chief facilities officer. And that community partnership was exactly what she liked doing and forging those, and she's continued to do that throughout her career with our school district. Um, she regrets she can't come. She had a personal commitment out of state today. She was rushing to the airport, and she thought she could stop by here and address you before she got to the airport. She's really known for being able to get from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time, but even Mrs. Elia couldn't do, pull that off today, but she certainly sends her regards to you today. As, as Mrs. Sandler said, I'm a product of Hillsborough County Schools myself, a native Tampa, and I am so proud of this community. Um, and as deputy superintendent now as well, I have tremendous interest in the history of our school district. Gorey Elementary is a beautiful example of the rich history that we have. We have many historic schools, but none that shine quite as brightly as Gorey Elementary School. Mrs. Sandler is going to detail some of that history for you later, so I'm not going to do that, but it is certainly rich. 125 years is a long, long time, and she's not going to cover it all, so I have just a few facts for you. Maybe she won't cover these. Did you know that Gory used to have a playbrarium? What do you, what's a playbrarium? It's a play area and a library put together. That was creative thinking back then. I think that sounds like a great idea. Uh, Gory students were the first in the district to introduce their hot lunch program. And that's certainly a distinction. Also, we have had at least three, maybe four generations of South Tampa families attend Gory. It was such a pleasure this morning meeting so many folks that tell me they went to Gory. I think the pattern then still was Gory Wilson Plant. And 
what, what a wonderful thing to be able to look back and remember, and what a great thing to be able to have generations come through this school district and through this school. We also, uh, Mrs. Sandler and her staff and the parents here at Gorey are maintaining an excellent reputation. For that whole 125 years, this school has stood as an example of a fine education and the fine education that is offered in Hillsborough County School District. We are so privileged to be here. We are so excited to celebrate 125 years of a fine education and the 125 years of Gorey Elementary. Now, I get the distinct pleasure of introducing the mayor of Tampa. You know, I think it's as we get older, we certainly cherish those things that, that maybe we took for granted. But Tampa is such a great place to live, and I don't know a bigger cheerleader than our mayor. Uh, in fact, our mayor is certainly helping to write the exciting new chapters of Tampa history, and we are so proud. In the late 80s, he served as a special assistant to Mayor Sandy Friedman. In the 1990s, he served on Tampa City Council. And then in 2011, he was elected to what I think he's termed his dream job. And as I said, he remains the biggest cheerleader in all those official duties that he does for the city of Tampa. He's always been a friend to our school district. We have many partnerships. He supports those fully. And he's overseeing a period of impressive growth and exciting new projects. And I think we've just begun to see what's going to happen in the city of Tampa. And it's, I am so proud and so pleased and thank the mayor for his wonderful support of our school district, especially in recent days. Thank you, Mayor Buckhorn. Good morning, Gory Elementary. I'm sorry, kids. I said good morning, Gory Elementary. There we go, now we're talking. If only I got that response at home. <laughs> I have a nine-year-old and a 13-year-old who I wish was nine. <laughs> this is how I know God's a woman, is I have two daughters. And for all you young men that are here today, I'm telling you right now, they're off limits. Oh yeah, I'm watching you, young man. <laughs> TPD already has your number. <laughs> to all of you, thank you very much for being here today. I, I wish Superintendent Elia could be here because I would like to personally thank her for an amazing job that she has done leading this district. <laughs> I'm sure she's off to pick up another national award. But this district will get through this latest drama. It is unfortunate, but we will get through it because we are bigger than that, and we need a school district that is functioning and performing as well as it has as of late. But to all of you, let me first of all say thank you. Uh, you saw and heard from uh, and met some of our council members that are here today. Um, I see a lot of alumni that are here. I saw. Leonard Levy, as I was coming in, and he said it's been 75 years since he went to Gorey Elementary, and that includes the six years he spent in fifth grade. <laughs> but I look around this room, and, and you heard uh, Deputy Superintendent Valdez talk about what an amazing city this is. Well, I look at some of the people that are here today and recognize that certainly I, as mayor, and the progress that we, we, we've made over the last couple of years is dependent upon some of the folks that are right here that are graduates of Gorey Elementary. As mayor, I stand on the shoulders not only of mayors who came before me, but on the shoulders of a lot of you that are here in this room that gave me an amazing gift. 
And that gift was a city that was on the verge of something special. And if you think about the history of this institution, and you think about the graduates that it has produced, and you think about the community leaders whose careers literally started at Gorey and on to Wilson and on to Plant, generations of families who gave back to this community, who helped to build what I think is one of the most exciting cities in America. It is some of the alumni that are here before you. It is 100 plus years of great teachers and great administrators and great principals and great parents who cared enough to get involved in their school. This is not always the case. PTA meetings are not always well attended. This is a special school with a special legacy that to the kids that are here today, you need to understand the environment in which you enjoy every day and the tradition and the expectations of excellence. This is a place that has made a difference in this community. These are alumni who have made a difference. And the expectation for you as young people is that you will make a difference as well. Because ultimately, some of you may be the mayor. One of you may be the next governor. One of you may be the president of the United States. So our gift to you is to leave you a city that you are proud of, a city that you will come home to someday. I'm not losing a single one of you to Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> we need you to stay here in Tampa, Florida and carry on the amazing tradition of Gorey Elementary. So congratulations to all of you today on this amazing anniversary. And most importantly, congratulations for a future that is yet to come. Now, I have a special, special gift for you. As mayor, I get to do some really cool things. If you make me man, I get to turn your water off. <laughs> See, they're like, wow, that's pretty cool. I'll never shut a bridge down. <laughs> but I may turn your water off, especially the young men who think they're going to date my daughter. It's not happening. Can I tell you just a funny story, kids? Okay. Now, this is something that I don't want you to ever do. All right? So I had a group of Cub Scouts in my office a couple weeks ago. And I, I tell those young men the same thing I tell all of the young men here. I show them a picture of my two girls and I say, young men, scouts, you are not to go near my daughters. To which one young scout raised his hand and said, what about your wife? <laughs> that was probably Charlie Miranda's grandson. Now, I never learned that in scouting when I was in scouting, but my wife's off limits too, guys. <laughs> all right, so to all of you, I'm not going to read all the whereases. Yeah, <laughs> thank God, right? Now, therefore, I, Bob Buckhorn, by virtue of the authority vested in me as the mayor of the city of Tampa, Florida, do hereby proclaim Friday, January 23rd, 2015, as Gorey Elementary School Day in the city of Tampa, Florida, and urge all of our citizens to offer their congratulations to this beautiful historic school and to thank Principal Marjorie Sandler, the teachers, the staff, and the students of John B. Gorey Elementary for their commitment to educational excellence. Alumni, teachers, kids, this is your day. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, that is beautiful, and it will hold a very special place on our wall. I don't have such great stories to tell, <laughs> although maybe, but anyway. Today, John B. Gorey Elementary celebrates 125 years of excellence in Tampa Bay. John B. Gorey Elementary is the oldest school plant still in operation in Hillsborough County and in the state of Florida. We opened our doors as Hyde Park Grammar School in 1889. At that time, Tampa was a tiny port city, awaiting big things. 
The earliest mention of the school was in the minutes of the Public Board of Instruction, indicating that the first teacher was assigned to the school on September 3, 1889. Let's imagine for a moment what a teacher's life was like in the 1800s. Here are just a few of the written rules as provided to those teachers. Teachers were not allowed to marry or keep company of men, with men. They must be home between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. unless attending board functions. Teachers could not travel beyond the city limits unless they had permission from the chairman of the school board. To keep the school neat and clean, you must sweep the floor at least once daily, scrub the floor at least once a week with hot soapy water, clean the blackboards at least once a day, and this one's good. Start the fire at 7 a.m. so the room will be warm by 8 a.m. Needless to say, the lives and expectations of our teachers have changed more than just a little bit. The expectations of our children have evolved too. In this early time, students started their day by saluting the flag and marching to their classrooms. There they recited the Lord's Prayer and heard a message read from the Bible. Although other subjects were taught, the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, were stressed. There was an emphasis on memory, and students were given a list of spelling words to learn, and everyone was expected to know their multiplication tables by heart. There were no field trips for children, and they learned about nature and science by going fishing or park to parks with their parents and actually spending most of their time outside with boys and girls, no iPads, iPhones, or electronic games. Can you imagine that? Studies included social studies, geography, and physiology. Good penmanship was of utmost importance. Health and cleanliness were taken quite seriously as nails and teeth were checked daily. At that time, no one could ever have imagined the way technology would change our lives. Gory has had many firsts in its long history. We housed the first hot lunch program in Hillsborough County. Notes from the files of a Tampa historian indicate that Hyde Park Grammar School was inspected in mid-September of 1903 and proclaimed one of the finest schools in the state. On August 2nd, 1915, the Hyde Park Grammar School was renamed John B. Gory Elementary after the famous inventor. While Gorey has a long tradition in Hillsborough County, it is the commitment of excellence by our students, our teachers, and the unwavering support of their parents and the community that have made this historic event possible. We are proud to be the cultural center for our neighborhood. Over the past several weeks, I've had the opportunity to, miss, to meet and listen to many Gorey alumni. They have shared pictures of their personal history and wonderful stories of their school days, often mentioning the lifelong friendships which were started within these walls. I've had the opportunity to speak with the contractor, Jim Calamaris, whose company worked on renovations to Gorey not once but twice over its long history on two separate occasions. These conversations have confirmed both the care and love which have bestowed upon our school. Gory continues its tradition of academic excellence, and of course, we are very proud of our numerous accomplishments. Students still learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, but we, often, we also continue our tradition of community service. Gory students have recently initiated a Gory Care Service Club where students work with the residents of Horizon Bay on service projects. This ensures our tradition of students learning the importance of helping others. Our teachers help raise money for Relay for Life and other charities throughout the school year. In fact, our school was recently recognized by the American Cancer Society for the largest donation in the South Tampa area for Relay for Life. Today, students who were trained as docents will lead your tours. They did research after school to learn more about our rich history and culture. We are very proud of them as they will represent the future leaders of our community. You will see artwork around the buildings created by their students, some on their own time, as well as pieces that were created with our art teacher 
to show the history of Gorey throughout the decades. Some of our students and teachers are wearing clothing depicting certain time periods from our 125 years. As you can see, we are very proud of our school and community. Again, I want to thank everyone for his or her effort in making this special day happen. Without our parent volunteers and our teacher support, things like this just don't come together, so thank you. And please join together in, in helping us celebrate this wonderful occasion. It is truly a great honor for me to be the principal of John B. Gorey Elementary. Before our program from our chorus, I would like to introduce the previous principals from John B. Gorey Elementary, and I would ask them to stand and be recognized. Uh, did Mrs. Dorch come in? No. Dr. David Benny? No. Mrs. Marilyn Whitner? And this is Louise Harris Downing. I would also like to invite any former Gorey teachers in our audience to please stand and be recognized. And of course, I will ask all of our alumni to please stand and be recognized. I want to take a moment and ask our children and teachers who dressed in time period clothing for the occasion to please stand. They worked hard on costumes. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming to celebrate with us. And I am going to turn the program over to our music teachers, Ms. Lamb and Dr. Jeffress, to carry on. Our first song is the um, school song that is on the wall. However, it's not the original. We just made a, a few changes, so it's like an adaptation. We are going to sing it first, just the chorus and the string street. And we invite you to join us when we sing it the second. Thank you.
is five years old. So we hope you enjoy it. And again, the chorus will start and see it one time through, and then we want our friends in the audience, all the students, to come with us. And everybody can you want.
Thank you, and what a beautiful job. I know, I had goosebumps on that one. That was beautiful chorus. At this time, um, when our children will go back to their classrooms, we, we decided to do this on a school day because we wanted to give alumni chances to see what a schoolroom looks like today. I know for me, you know, our classes today are a lot smaller in size with the class size reduction than they were when I first started teaching in the mid 80s. So today we have class size limits, but as I look back in pictures from the 50s and the 60s and earlier, there are pictures of rooms with 38 children, 36 children, and one, one teacher, teachers, just one, not two, and it, one day I had said um, actually to our superintendent, how did we all fit in the room? Because you got so used to seeing smaller class sizes. And like she pointed out, and it was obvious, back in our day when we were in elementary school, we didn't have computer desks and computer stations. We didn't have guided reading tables. We didn't have um, some of the different Elmos and smart boards. We actually didn't have those, period. I think we had overhead projectors, maybe in later years. Films with the reels, and so <laughs> that you were really special if you got to work the projector. But I wanted you to have a chance to see what life is like in our classrooms today with the children learning with iPads, and, which we use quite frequently in our building, with wireless in our building, with air conditioning for some of you. Um, and I wanted you to see what life is like in 2015 within our walls. So we do have docent-led tours. They worked very hard. But for those of you who have shorter time period to be here, our PTA has graciously agreed to do an express tour. So we hope you will join us and see a little bit about life in Gory in the 2015 school year. Thank you so much for coming, and I look forward to visiting, visiting with you.